broadcast first on ABC Big 2 News. Good evening and happy Saturday, friends. Today was a sunny Saturday in the basin, but also a warm Saturday in the basin, causing everyone's temperatures to sit in the upper 80s. With the dry conditions and also some high temperatures and low humidity, we currently do have a fire weather warning in the entire Permian Basin, lasting until tomorrow 9 p.m. over in Crane, Pecos, Reagan, and Upton, but also in the Midland and Odessa area. I have more of this fire weather warning later on in the show. Over to you, Rob. Well, thank you, Bridget. Across Texas, tornado cleanup continued today for families near Austin. After some organizing through social media, volunteers got together in Elegant to pick up the pieces. Now, those volunteers are giving people who lost a lot a big helping hand. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rob Took. We begin with ABC's Maggie Glynn, who shows us how these families are moving forward. Volunteers showing up Saturday morning to help their neighbors pick up pieces of their homes. Amber Galliano got the group together on Facebook. To see our, our businesses and our community members step up for those in need, it just makes me proud. They're helping families like the Hicks. The whole second floor is gone, except for a portion of it. Mike Hicks has been working in construction for 40 years. He custom designed the home himself. A big 26-foot uh, sweet gum, which is a low-bearing column. Some of the windows in this place were over 100 years old that was reclaimed from a, an old mansion in Austin. Moving here from the Gulf Coast, he says he specifically took tornadoes into account when building. Up here, I figured tornadoes would be the big issue. The house wasn't spared from damage, but it did keep everyone safe. Fortunately, we had nine people in here. No one had a scratch. Hicks is focusing on next steps. My next step is once we get it cleaned up to see if anything's savable. It looks like the first floor might be somewhat, but it's going to be a lot of work to be done. And is grateful for the help he's had so far. If you have it in your heart to be a helper, like please come help. We'll accept it and I will help you find a place to be. And that was Maggie Glynn reporting. Evacuations are underway in Colorado. These new images tonight show a wildfire burning near Boulder. Local police say the fire is small, but strong winds are pushing the fire's growth. University of Colorado Boulder students are being evacuated from the school's south campus. And new at 10, recent wildfires in Texas have left a number of people without basic goods. Now the Midland County Sheriff's Office was giving those families a major helping hand today. A number of deputies with the county's mounted patrol were busy taking donations all morning and afternoon. The people in Midland step up. When there's a need, they step up and they provide. Now they were taking all sorts of donations starting at 8 this morning to 4 this afternoon. It all happened at the Midland County Sheriff's Office headquarters on Main Street in Midland. In these videos, you can see donations of canned goods, livestock feed, dog and cat food, toiletries, and hay and ranch supplies. The Sheriff's Office also said what you don't see are all the monetary donations it's received. All that money will go towards the relief efforts around Eastland County. Um, no item was unappreciated, and if we could get one item, that was one item more than they had before we started. So going down there and seeing it, um, smelling everything that had burned, seeing the livestock that had been you know, killed in the fires, um, the people that lost their trailers, homes, coming asking for help, you know, just and being the most positive they are, we just felt there was something we could do to kind of contribute to them. And the community of Midland has always been the best there is. So. Now, the Midland County Sheriff's Office Mounted Patrol was in the Eastland area last week. They helped move livestock to safety from the wildfires in the area. So far, members of the Sheriff's Office says perhaps the most significant thing they've seen recently is the generosity from local families. I've been here 40 plus years, and Midland County always steps up and helps our neighbors, and that's what this is all about. I just want to thank everybody for coming out, and also all the the people out here that are volunteering to collect and stuff, I want to thank them. It's a, it's a group effort. It's, it's not just one person. And the Sheriff's Office posted these photos on Facebook shortly after the donation drive wrapped up today, saying their mounted patrol will proudly deliver today's donations on behalf of the Midland County community. 
And developing now at 10, President Biden is back in the U.S. tonight after a four-day high-stakes trip to Europe. As we take a live look at the White House, President Biden called the war in Ukraine a battle for freedom. Meantime, the city of Lviv, once considered a safe haven for Ukrainians, came under attack today. Russian missiles rocked the city, which is less than 50 miles from Ukraine's border with Poland. Until this weekend, Lviv has mostly been spared in the month since Russia started its invasion. ABC's Ty Hernandez has the latest on how the U.S. is getting involved in the fight overseas. Plumes of smoke seen rising over the western Ukrainian city of Lviv. The city rocked by two Russian missile strikes. Those blasts sending people running for cover. All the people who live in the city of Lviv uh, think that it's the safest city in all, the, in all Ukraine, yeah? But no place is safe now. The first site hit an oil depot northeast of the city center, leaving five people hurt. The second strike hitting a defense facility on the outskirts of town. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky continues to stress his country needs more weapons, calling for 1% of NATO's arsenal. Saturday's attacks on Lviv, less than 50 miles from Ukraine's border with Poland. President Joe Biden wrapping up his high-stakes trip on Saturday, visiting Poland's capital, Warsaw, sitting down for his first meeting with Ukrainian officials since the Russian invasion began. The president spent part of the day with Ukrainian refugees before addressing a large crowd waving American, Ukrainian, and Polish flags. Rather than breaking Ukrainian resolve, Russia's brutal tactics have strengthened the resolve. Rather than driving NATO apart, the West is now stronger and more united than it has ever been. The president with a warning for Vladimir Putin. Don't even think about moving on one single inch of NATO territory. Then saying this. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. The White House later playing cleanup, saying the president was not calling for a regime change in Russia. Ty Hernandez, ABC News, New York. And also developing tonight, the investigation into the death of a teenage boy who fell off a ride at a Florida amusement park. Tonight, the family of Tyree Sampson has hired two high-profile attorneys, Ben Crump and Bob Hilliard who will represent the family. Now, the ride at Orlando's Icon Park just opened last year, and ABC's Will Carr has more, including words from the victim's youth football coach. New details after that horrific theme park ride accident. In video taken before the ride at Icon Park in Orlando begins, you can see riders asking if there are clip-in seatbelts. Authorities say 14-year-old Tyree Sampson fell from the freefall ride just before it ended. The plummet caught on camera. The video too graphic to show. Tyree was here with a, uh, a family, a friend's family from the, the state of Missouri. So, you know, again, we can't imagine um, what they're going through. After the fall, you can hear a worker asking others if they checked the ride. The 430-foot tall ride recently opened. It dropped 75 miles an hour before plummeting, riders tilting forward. Our hearts are broken for that family of the young men. And uh, again, we're going to do everything we can to work with the investigative authorities to get to the matter of this. In a 911 call, the horrifying details. The ride was going, and during the middle of the ride, the, the guy just came off. Tyree's football coach paying tribute to the teenager. He was a great kid. He was a student of the game. He was very humble, very respectful. Well, spring has arrived and it brought warm temperatures to the Permian Basin. Will Sunday be another sunny and warm day? I'll have that answer after the break. The countdown to Hollywood's biggest night is on. Preparations still underway here at the Dolby Theater in Morgan Norwood. And I'll have everything that you need to know about the 94th Annual Academy Awards. That's coming up. And in the basin, big swings and a walk-off win. We've got highlights from a busy day of high school baseball. We'll be right back.
The Vineyard, Midland's premier master planned community, impeccable high-end luxury with resort-style amenities. These Silverleaf homes are located close to Green Tree Country Club and are walking distance to Faskin Elementary. Contact Alexa to schedule your private showing. We're surprising teachers with gifts. I'll show up to a class with my surprise squad all school year. If you want to nominate a teacher, head to yourbasin.com. Teacher Surprise Squad is sponsored by Pioneer Natural Resources. We know this is an uncertain time. We know you're concerned about tensions abroad and the strain at home. You have questions. News Nation promises to help you find the answers. Wake up with Morning in America. It is nice to have something uplifting to share with you today, especially in light of all of the news going on. The team you can trust to keep you informed and engaged. Our Robert Sherman is live in Ukraine this morning with the very latest for us. Everything you need to know to start your day a little brighter. Morning in America, weekday mornings at 7, 6 central on News Nation. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gazillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gazillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. Want a plan that can help you save on electricity when you use it most? Give Pick Your Free from Reliant a shot. Choose free electricity on flex days, weekends, or nights. Now powered by 100% solar energy. And you can track your free electricity with the Reliant app. Pick your free and score free electricity when it counts. Reliant, that's power. Your way. Back by popular demand, it's the Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Furniture Row. Shop today and save big store-wide because it's all on sale. All living, all dining, and all bedroom. Check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm for only $284.99. Plus, make your cash go further with five years no interest financing. And check out special purchases while they last. But don't miss out. The Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Furniture Row ends Thursday the 31st. Watch Samantha Smarechniak, Matt Fonts, and Ryan DePhillips at 11.30. The local weather authority forecast. Well, friends, Saturday has arrived. The weekend is here, and it brought us some really great temperatures. Today, West Texans were able to enjoy a high of 88 degrees. Usually around this time in March, we're definitely used to a high of 75 degrees. So today we are warm, but not as warm as we were back in just 2020 when we were sitting at 94 degrees. Take a look at our lows today. We did come in at a low of 37 degrees. Usually around this time in March, we're definitely used to 47 degree temperatures. So today, just, you know, 30 degree, or not 30 degrees, <laughs> 10 degrees short of our record, but not as cool as how we were back in 1965. We're only sitting at a low of 20 degrees. So we'll take what we can get. And speaking of some temperature change right now in the basin, six degrees warmer in the Midland and Odessa area, two degrees warmer in Big Spring, eight degrees warmer over in Seminole. And our friends down in Presidio is always nice and warm, managed to get to four degrees warm. So pretty much everyone pretty much increased in their temperatures, except for our friends in Van Horn, which actually get went down in at three degrees. So not bad whatsoever. Currently, as we make our way into our evening and the sunset, we'll be sitting in our 40s. Our humidity level sitting at 8%, dew point sitting at 4, and our pressure sitting at 29.8. Eight, six. So definitely not too bad. Winds are sitting pretty calm for right now. But as we make our way into Sunday, we will see winds going back into the teens, sitting at 14 miles per hour in the Midland Odessa area, 17 miles per hour in Big Spring. And then some areas will be seeing their single digit wind travel, such as Seminole sitting at nine miles per hour, Wink nine miles per hour as well. But we're going to continue into our Sunday as we make our way into 9 p.m. That's when we do see that wind come on in into the basin, sitting in our teens at 18 miles per hour in the Midland Odessa area area 17 miles per hour big spring our friends in week 19 miles per hour but also even faster over in Pecos sitting at 20 miles per hour and Fort Stockton sitting at 22 miles per hour we're going to see some of that wind travel all the way into our Monday and that's when it begins to calm on down by the time we get into the afternoon hours so definitely not too bad at all with you know warm temperatures uh, low pressure points and dry conditions we do currently
currently have a fire weather warning lasting until tomorrow evening around 9 p.m. Central Time over in Crane, Pecos, Reagan, and Uptown, but also in the Odessa area and Milton as well. So we do advise that you do hold off on any kind of fire weather activity. Avoid activities that cause spark or flames and properly, if you do smoke, properly dispose of those cigarettes. Definitely not bad whatsoever. We're going to start off our day pretty mild at 49. By the time we get into noon, we will be sitting at 79 degrees. And then by the time we get into 5 p.m., that's when we do increase the temperatures to 89 degrees. The seven-day forecast is going to show that we're going to have some really great temperatures. We make it all the way up to 91 degrees tomorrow, and then we sit at 92 come Monday, setting us up for some really great temperatures cooling on down into the rest of this upcoming week. But you know what, Rob? Some really great temperatures to look forward to. Some summer temperatures, dare I say it? I mean, I can't say some pool temperatures, though. <laughs> You're going to have to remind me about this sunscreen. I'm already seeing a lot of burnt people uh, around yes, here. Yes, yes, Be sure to lather up, throw that sunscreen on, put it on, spray it on. Just lather up in that sunscreen. Yeah, I am not looking forward to that extreme heat on Monday, but thank you, uh, Bridget, for the forecast. Uh, we'll check back in with you at the end of the show. All right. Well, the red carpet is rolling out in Hollywood at the Dolby Theater. We are less than a day away from the 94th Academy Awards. It airs right here on ABC Big 2 at 7 o'clock tomorrow, right before our 10 o'clock newscast. Now, there hasn't been a show host for the Oscars since 2018. This year, there's going to be three. Now, ABC's Morgan Norwood is on the red carpet with a preview of this star-studded night and who's expected to win big. Blanketed across the Dolby Theater, the red carpet is now ready to showcase Hollywood's biggest and brightest. And in just hours, we'll find out which stars are taking home that coveted Oscar gold. This year's show returning after a three-year host hiatus with a history-making three female MCs, Wanda Sykes, Regina Hall, and Amy Schumer. It's a big party, right? It is a That's big why party. I wanted to do it. And nothing screams a party like music. Like Oscars past, there will be performances, but this year, they're live. And while the show producers haven't revealed the full list of performances, turns out we can talk about Bruno. We don't talk about the 94th Annual Academy Awards Ceremony will feature the first ever live performance of Disney's Encanto Anthem. But we don't talk about Bruno wasn't submitted for best song. Encanto is nominated in three categories. With Encanto, it's just the fact that it's connected with so many families and it's given families a new vocabulary to talk about their own families. Another fan favorite could also win big. Coda up for Best Picture and Screenplay, with Troy Concert favored to win Best Supporting Actor. He's the second actor who was deaf to be nominated for an Oscar. Marlene Matlin, who plays his wife in the film, was the first. Troy Kotzer has really caught the imagination of, uh, of a lot of moviegoers, I think. People who love the movies with his performance in Coda. Coda is sort of become the people's choice. And back here at Dolby Theater, the red carpet really starting to take shape. These screens have gone up and crews are working to put the finishing touches ahead of Hollywood's biggest night. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Hollywood. And we just saw... Lin-Manuel Miranda talking about the film Encanto. Earlier today, Miranda actually announced he's skipping the Oscars. He's doing it as a precaution after his wife just tested positive for COVID-19. And you can watch the Oscars right here on ABC Big 2. Coverage starts at 1. The show starts at 7. And immediately after, join us tomorrow night for ABC Big 2 News at 10 o'clock. And now, your ABC Big 2 Sports. Over to sports now with Avi Cargloth. Avi, two Odessa Midland rivalries wrote new chapters in their storied histories today. Yeah, these teams definitely have a lot of history. The complete Big Four. They were in action this afternoon, finishing up their three-game series against one another in Odessa Midland High. They were visiting Permian, the Panthers. Mojo, they won the first two in that series. And then in Midland, Odessa High, they were visiting Legacy with each side having won a game. Let's start in Odessa. Permian hosting Midland. Mojo undefeated in district play and down one in the bottom of the seventh. Caleb Boswell puts a ball to deep left field and we are tied. Only two outs away from the loss and Boswell's homer brings Mojo back from the dead. So we go to extras tied at one. In fact, stopping a home plate there. After a scoreless eighth in the bottom of the ninth, 
Xavier Melendez goes up Otako to right center field. That ball gets down, and so is Melendez, chugging hard all the way to third with a leadoff triple. Bulldogs would intentionally walk the next two to load the bases with no outs. So Cal Warren steps to the plate with the bases juiced. He hits a fly ball in left field. It's caught. Melendez tags up. Cutoff throw. Not in time. Permian walks it off, sweeping the series. And they're still undefeated in district play. All right, Odessa High and Midland Legacy in the rubber match of their three-game series. How about this? Ball, meet glove. Alex Kowalczyk gets the last out of the sixth. And the bottom of the inning, Jairo Guerrero gets the backwards K to end the inning. This game was tied at four late. Both teams trying to get something going. Top of the seventh, Zorian Del Rio hits a soft bouncer to right. But Legacy has trouble fielding it, and Del Rio has bases to reach. So after stumbling past first, he's going to reach second easily. He slides into third. The Legacy throw is way off, and Del Rio touches them all, Little League style. Inside the park, home run gives the Broncos the lead. And then to close it out, Isaac Rodriguez. He was not playing around, trying to take the dub back west on I-20. He strikes out the side. They all go down swinging. One, two, three. The Broncos hold the Rebels to just two hits. They win by a run and take the series over Legacy. All right, the Odessa Jackalopes in action against New Mexico. Before the game, Jacks retire Connor Hellebuck's jersey, who is now the goalie for NHL's Winnipeg Jets. They had a little trouble with the unveiling, but here you go. Jacks retire the number 37. The Jacks' current goalie, William Proctor, decided he'd try his hand at a Hellebuck impersonation. Ice Wolves trying to push the puck across the ice quickly. Proctor doesn't care. He pushes the puck away with his right leg pad, keeping the game scoreless in the first period. Ice Wolves again control the puck in the Jack zone. New Mexico try to push it through here, but Proctor is like a brick wall, an immovable object, not letting anything through on that play. And then this time, New Mexico tries going around from behind the net. First shot is blocked. Second shot. Poked away, the third shot wasn't even close. A scoreless opening period for both teams, but it lasted the whole game for the Jacks, and they fall to New Mexico. So, Rob, as you can see, we're getting to baseball season. You see the red, you see the sun. That's what baseball is doing to the people that are out there <laughs> making sure we get those highlights in on time. So, as Bridget mentioned earlier in her weather, uh, Gotta get some sunscreen. I'm trying, Mom. Don't, I know you're gonna see this. It's hey, it's fun. perfect weather though, Wavi, <laughs> for baseball, and it's uh, just a prime time to get outside and watch all those games. Use sunscreen, folks. <laughs> use, use, lather up, folks. I, learn from me. Yeah, good advice there. All right, thanks, Avi. A beloved rock and roll star is being mourned tonight by fans across the world. The latest on the death of Taylor Hawkins and how the Foo Fighters are remembering him. Got your salmon, gulf shrimp, and your mahi mahi. Thanks, Mike. Shop HEB's giant online selection of fresh seafood now with free curbside. No store does more to bring the best to your door. The child welfare system is in transition, and we need you to plug yourself in where you can help with this transition and help these children and families heal from their the abuse and neglect that they've endured. Get involved and get your church involved because families in crisis in our area need to. Get involved because the kids need it. They need some love, they need some support, they need some encouragement, so we would encourage you to find a way to help serve them. Get involved, pb.org. and 10-speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty.
Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. Visit your Permian Basin GMC dealer. The UPRA returns to the Midland Horseshoe for the Permian Basin Spring Stampede Pro Rodeo. Sponsored by All-American Chrysler Dodge Ram of Midland on Friday, April 1st and Saturday, April 2nd. Come enjoy loads of family fun with rodeo entertainment and plenty of excitement. From bull riding, barrel racing, to buck and broncos, even mutton busting. For tickets and more information, visit MidlandHorseshoe.com. And come see us for the Permian Basin Spring Stampede Pro Rodeo at the Midland Horseshoe Arena. Real Steel. Find yours at SteelDealers.com. The music world and countless fans are reeling from the loss of Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins. The news of his death was first announced yesterday. He was 50 years old. Hawkins and the band were on tour in South America, the Foo Fighters, and they were preparing to perform in Columbia. ABC's Doug Colk takes a look at Hawkins' life and his rock and roll legacy. Gotta promise not to stop when I say there's a reason the Foo Fighters' third drummer turned out to be their last. Even for a musical perfectionist like Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins was the perfect fit. Taylor grew up in Orange County and got his big break drumming for Alanis Morissette on her massive two-year Jagged Little Pill tour. And it just went nuclear, man. And it was like, it went nuclear. But it was immediately following the tour that he left to join, at the time, a much smaller band, but one that he instinctually knew would rock. <laughs> And he was right. For the next 25 years, he would be known as the long-haired, board-short-wearing drummer of one of the world's biggest rock and roll bands, the Foo Fighters, where he's even been known to steal the show from time to time. We caught up with Taylor back in 2014 when he formed a heavy metal side project called Birds of Satan. Being a musician, it, having the comfort of the Foo Fighters, is it easier to pursue these projects? Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't, you know, it, it gives you that cushion because you have this other thing that you do that you make a living doing, you know, and, and pays the bills quite well. So I get to sort of indulge myself with all my little flights of sort of fancy and my self indulgent little side projects. But I better be out of fun, you know? According to reports, Taylor's body was found Friday in his Columbia hotel room. The Foo Fighters were on a South American tour at the time of his passing. This was the last known time he took to the stage, March 20th in Argentina. And that was Doug Kalk reporting. The band released a statement saying the Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Coming up tonight, a local artist is leaving her mark in malls nationwide. We get a first look at her work on the runway. ABC Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. It's the Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Furniture Row. Shop today and save big because it's all on sale. All living, dining, and bedroom. Plus, five years, no interest financing. But hurry, the Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Furniture Row ends soon. It's the movie event of the year. Beyonce, Billie Eilish, Sebastian Yatra, and Reba McIntyre take the stage. Plus, the first live performance of We Don't Talk About Bruno. Regina Hall, Amy Schumer, and Wanda Sykes host The Oscars live Sunday on ABC. Distracted driving can happen to anyone, anytime. Eating, doing your makeup, and the number one culprit, texting and driving. Did you know that texting and driving is six times deadlier than driving under the influence of alcohol? If you've been injured in a wreck from distracted driving, call HQ Chiropractic anytime, 24-7. HQ Chiropractic will get you the help you need when you need it. Spring ahead with our top speeds. Get faster internet with Suddenlink. Like our high-speed 1 gig internet for just $49.99 a month. With it, you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card. HBO Max included on us for one year. And a free Wi-Fi extender for whole home coverage. 
Get our fastest speed. Plus, with optimal flexibility from Southern Link, you can choose more of what you want with no hidden fees. And the grass gets greener when you combine with Optimum Mobile for even more savings. Spring into action and sign up at SouthernLink.com or call us at 800-972-5757 today. Next Jeopardy, a back and forth battle for victory. You came from behind, you're now in the lead. You are in second place. How much would you like to wager? All of it. It's a game as good as it gets. It's the Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Denver Mattress. Right now, get the Doctor's Choice Firm for only $664.99. Or check out the Summit Firm, just $284.99. Plus, five years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Well, trending now at 10, a local artist is getting nationwide recognition, and it's happening in Dillard's across the country. Midlander Kerry Hawkins had a runway show today at the Midland Park Mall in Dillard's to showcase some of her artwork. This past year, Hawkins has been working with Dillard's to get her artwork onto a children's clothing line called Edge Hill Collection. And now you can see her work at stores nationwide. I'm just really excited. It's been an incredible journey and it's been over a year. I mean, the community of Midland has showed up and they've been so supportive and it's been such a gift for me to be able to share this with them and to feel the love and support from them. I'm so, so grateful. And Hawkins' work is on children's dresses, boys and girls swimsuits, and puddle jump covers. And as we head to break, a reminder that you can share your videos and photos on social media with us. Make sure you use the hashtag ABCBig2News. And if you haven't done it yet, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We are ABCBig2News. We'll be right back. And now... Most admired alum. Get out there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gadillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gadillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. No two hometowns are exactly the same, but they all have one thing in common. People committed to making them better. And Steel has been a part of those hometowns for over half a century. Help us support our communities, our neighbors, our friends. Shop local. Real Steel. Find yours. Stan, why would Stanton Optical choose a penguin as their spokes bird? They're not your typical eye care company. I'm not your typical penguin. How is Stanton Optical different from all the other eye care services? Reliable professional advice. Same day glasses, unbeatable prices, and eye exams whenever you need them. I could go Stan? on. Stan? Yes? How does it feel to be the new face of Stanton Optical? We're a team. There's no eye in eye care. Wait. <laughs> You know what I mean. Get two pairs of glasses plus a free eye exam, anti-glare lenses, and same day service for only $79. I was 15 years old at the time, and my mother was teaching me how to drive. When someone entered the influence, it is head on. My mother was killed instantly. I was rushed to the hospital, and I ended up having to miss my mother's funeral. If you're going to have a good time, continue that good time by being safe. Give your keys to someone else, but don't drink and get behind the wheel. Well, friends, the weekend is here and some really great temperatures. Just a reminder, tomorrow we do have and currently are cur currently are in a fire weather warning for Crane, Pecos, Reagan, and up 10 counties, but also in the Midland and Odessa area. This fire weather warning will last until tomorrow, 9 p.m. Central Time. Tomorrow's temperatures are going to be great. We will have a high of 91 degrees. I know it's perfect to be in the pool, also to grill, but we do advise that you hold off on any kind of spark. If you do, if you do smoke, just make sure to, you know, make sure that 
you properly dispose of that cigarette because any small little spark can cause a huge fire. Rob and Avi, 91 degrees. I'm super excited about that. I might take, you know, dip my feet in the pool a little bit. Yeah, we have a lot to look out for. We have the wind, we have the heat. Next thing we have, some aloe vera. Yeah, get some of that. Yes. My face is redder than your tie, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough time. It's a hot time, but we're all looking forward to uh, a change in weather. It's um, definitely uh, it's going to be an interesting week coming up. For well, that's sure. all the time we have for news tonight. Uh, join us tomorrow night at 10 o'clock for more here on ABC Big 2. See you then.